Hi guys, and welcome to another episode of Armin's Tech Talk. In an effort for AMD and the Radeon Technologies Group to get a leg up on the juggernaut, which is Intel, they are going to be holding a conference on the 16th of May to go ahead and discuss the future of AMD. At this time, it is expected that they will discuss a little bit more about their Vega graphics architecture, which should be launching around Computex timeframe, and it is expected at that time they will have a dedicated event for the Vega launch. AMD at this time is saying that this event on the 16th will not be an official launching of the Vega processor. But what can we see at this event? Well, I mean, to break it down, we're probably going to see a little bit of Vega. We're going to see, we're going to hear some technology about its successor, which is Navi, which is, at this time it's rumored that that chip will either run on GDDR6 or HBM3. Nothing has been confirmed, but look for that at that event. Moving on, if you haven't invested in Ryzen yet, you, well, technology is always moving forward, and of course, as you can always make the choice to wait, there might always be something better. It is expected at this event, AMD is going to start discussing its successor to the Zen CPU in the Zen 2, and possibly discuss the Zen APU. At this time, AMD has not released an APU based on the Zen cores. So to give some comparison, if you are not fully aware of how a lot of these uh, chips work, is Intel releases a chip, they will release a mainstream variant of their newest architecture. And then what they do is they also slap a GPU subset of cores onto the silicon die, which basically turns it to a system on a chip. You get your graphics processor, you get your CPU. I mean, it's pretty much a done deal at that point. Of course, you can have extra adding cards which can supplant um, and exceed the performance of that chip but it's a cheap alternative for folks who just want a very basic workstation so for amd this is kind of that move the apu does bring in the graphics core i mean a lot of people running just the chips it, it doesn't have those graphics processors enabled but the ones that they've released currently are more mainstream. They haven't released anything in the high-end desktop segment where for Intel, that's how they differentiate. Uh, the mainstream does get the graphics processor where the high-end will not usually get that component. AMD is kind of more staggering this where their APU lines get the graphics processor. So we're going to talk about the future Zen. I think this is the most important thing as Zen 2 or whatever they decide to call the future of Zen will have greater and better performance than the chip that we have now. So once again, also competing and pushing Intel along because we need a company there to push Intel along. It's important. Actually, for those of you who did this video, I just want to throw this question out there now. What are you running for a computer? Are you interested in Ryzen? Are you interested to see what's next for Ryzen? What I am waiting for, what I want to see, and I would actually, if they do it, I would build either a test bench or something else so I would have an ability to compare both AMD to Intel is a higher 
core count system. Now, I do understand that the 7 Series 1800X can compete and beat uh, the 6950K. That'll be, I, I would actually like to see that in person, but I also, be, I mean, I like power. I like to see things processed. So I would actually be very, very interested in seeing what a higher core count chip could do. Are you guys excited to see this roadmap? Are you excited to know what the future of AMD and Radeon Technologies Group RTG are beyond 2018? Because, hey, this is May 2017. We're almost halfway through. 2018's right around the corner, and it's always kind of nice to know that there are more products coming. And Guys, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. You know, why am I wait? Yeah, okay. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't, you know what to do. And of course, if you found this informational or entertaining, please hit that subscribe button. You can find me at Armin's Tech Talk on Twitter. And uh, once again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.